What's happening, man? It's your boy Daniel Booby Gibson. If you wanna win, put Booby in, and you tuned in the True Magazine. Something in its truest form. <laughs> Hip hop, what was it loud? Oh, it was natural, bro. I saw that man. Hip hop, what was it? Hip-hop in its truest form. And it's hip-hop in its truest form. How the yeah. fuck did so I just say hip-hop? Like, like, I thought that was wrong because it was so simple. Like, yeah. It was so yeah. easy. I'm like, What's going on, guys? It's Olivia with True Magazine. I'm here with Booby, fresh off the stage. What's going on? I'm excited, man. I, yeah, a lot of energy. The fans was great. The crowd was great. And for me, this is all new. So every experience is like my first time. So I'm, I'm excited. Well, what, what's all new about it? Performing, being in front of huge crowds. Yeah, like I've always written rhymes and I've always spit. But like the more that I perform, the more I'm in front of these people and I'm connecting with the people and I'm seeing that they like my music and I'm seeing that they giving it back to me and that's doing something to me. It's, it's motivating, it's inspiring me to want to get back in the lab. So what would you say that you enjoyed more? Like interacting and performing or the creative part of it? It's always gonna be the creative part of it because without that, I would probably be crazy. So I, I gotta have that part. But what I didn't know is like, see, I come from a basketball background. I played in NBA, so being able to when you make a three like late in the game, it's like a rush that you get. The same rush you get when you step on the stage and it's your time to perform. I've been looking for that that competitive. And I feel like I found it, so I'm excited. Well, can I ask you, what do you feel like you like better? Do you miss being an athlete at all? Are you full on into Man, this rap game? Of course, of course I miss being an athlete, but what happened was I got hurt. So I kind of got put in a position where I had to figure it out. And thank God I've been blessed with an ability to, to write rhymes and flows and create music that people like. And so I'm able to just transition smoothly, but I still got that platform, so a lot of people know me for that. Yeah. So the, 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 the com combining the two is getting real tricky. So can I ask you, what's like for your projects, what's your biggest muse? Like what do you love to speak on the most? I'm a lover. Well, I see your Women Crush Wednesday post with your I'm a lover. with your job in the poems. I know. I'm a lover, I exactly. I write poetry and I, I, I love women. So so for me it's like when I speak, I ain't, I ain't afraid to talk to the women or tell them like how I'm feeling or what I'm thinking. I, I like to, I like to say I write or I create music more from an LL Cool J kind of standpoint. When he was on his like real gyro kind of player, <laughs> I, I call it flowing beat. I created my own genre of music. So yeah, it's more it's towards the women. It's, it's Houston. You gonna know I'm from Houston, Texas because it's a different sound. But yeah, that's. I'll love the time. Well, yeah. so you're a woman lover, and I know you're no stranger to the women, the female artists. Uh -huh. So I want to ask you, True Magazine, our newest issue coming out is about women empowerment. For sure. And the hip-hop game is just totally different for males and females. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's tough because y'all put in the same amount of work, put in the same, the same amount of time. And y'all just want to be, y'all want to get the same credit and the same respect and be a, I feel like y'all have artists now that's making that happen. It's a shame that they have to work more, work harder for it to happen, but I feel like I have women breaking through and y'all setting presidents and y'all continue to move in that field just like anywhere else. Yeah. So how do you utilize all your platforms? Like you have your fan base from basketball and you have your fan base from television and I know social media plays a huge part in it. Like. How do you make it all work? Just to inspire. Yeah. My, my goal overall is to inspire. I feel like people people see me and they might not know what I got going on, but what they'll always know is that if I ever fall down, I'm gonna get back up. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like with music, with basketball, with television, anytime they see me, I, I wear everything on my chest. So you see me make my mistakes, but you also see me keep going. And so I like to just be a walking inspiration to people that have been through shit to know that it don't stop right there. You can you can be great, you just gotta keep going. So, and I know that you're constantly writing, but with this internet and social media, as totally taking over the culture, right. do you feel like you consistently have to be working on something in order to, to like keep up with the game? You have to be. And I mean, I think every artist is always trying to figure out a, a new way to, to to create and figure out, it's like that's just who we are, that gives us life and so if if, if social media makes makes that makes us want to do that more, then so be it because I love to create and if something's going to push me to create more and create better, 
But what do you think about the people who are famous on social media first catching the racket, the record deal? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I personally don't like it because I feel like there's a lot of really, really like talent. Not to, social media and Instagram is becoming talent too, so I can't just say it's not. It's a it different is. type of talent. It's a different though. type of talent, but the way that the game is set up now, it's a talent because they're getting paid for it. Okay, I see it's, you being careful. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. Nah, but I feel like there's some great talents out there that deserve notoriety that don't get it because they might not have a look or they might not have a vibe but that's just the game we play and so we, you just have to figure it out so i'm not knocking the instagram hustlers but i do wish that more artists with like pure talent that might not have that look would get love for their talent and their gifts do you have any advice for those specific artists out there trying to make it to where you're true. at Stay true. Yeah. Stay true. Like the world respects and loves authenticity, authenticity and originality. Like every everything is trying to make you do something else or be somebody else. The people that can stay true to themselves, regardless of what anybody might say or how anybody might feel, those are the people that end up prospering. It's a journey because you got to go through it in order to be able to talk about it and, and, and inspire. But you got to just stay true to yourself, and those are the ones that win. No, 100%. True Magazine, you hear that? Stay true. Stay true. <laughs>